In this presentation, we're going to look at logic and using truth tables to prove that two statements are equivalent to one another. So, use truth tables to prove that the following statements are equivalent to each other. Let's just remind ourselves what the symbols mean. So, this is means logical R. This means logical AND. That there means logical NOT. This is also uh, an operator to indicate equivalence. It's sort, sort, sort of like equals. And that is AND and NOT over there. So P or Q AND NOT P is equivalent to P AND NOT Q. So we're going to use truth tables to perform this calculation here. So I'm just going to scroll down here. Now we have the truth table set up here. First off, I'm going to put in the base values for Q and P. I'm going to start with um, Q first. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, first off, I'm going to pr uh, perform this part of the calculation first. I'm going to work on the this side here. The left hand side then what I'm going to do is I will look at this side here the right hand side here so th these three middle columns correspond to the left hand side I'm going to color code them red so P or Q so we're going to look at P and Q over here and check whether or not either of them are equal to 1 so at least one of them has to be equal to one. Uh, so zero and zero, neither of them are equal to one, so that's going to be zero. Here, Q is equal to one, so that's one. And then third row, uh, in the third row, uh, P is equal to one, so we get a one there. And both of them are equal to one down there, so that's one as well. Now, not uh, P, I'm sorry, not Q is the next column we're going to look at, and we're going to look at the values here. So if we have a zero here, we, we the not Q is one. And if we have a one here, the negation of that is zero. So the negation is the operation w w uh, for the not statement. So uh, zero, that gives us a one. Uh, we have a one in Q, that gives us a zero there. One and zero. Now we're going to perform logical AND here. This is the logical AND statement here. So what we're going to do is perform the logical AND uh, operation on the two uh, columns that we've just done there, the two red ones. So both of them have to be equal to 1. So 0 here, 1 here. Only one of them is equal to 1, so that's 0. Like, same again, 0. Both are, uh, uh, both are equal to 1 over here. So that gives us a 1 there. And that is a zero there because we have a one there and a zero there. So zero zero one one. Now this is important. We're going to use this row later on to sort of uh, look at this um, over here to compare to this uh, row, uh, this column over here. Now what we're going to do is look at this column first off, and what we're going to do is P and not Q. So we're going to look at this row here and this. Sorry, that column there and that column there. And what we're going to do is check where the values, where we get one for both values, uh, one in uh, the value of one in both columns. So we have a zero here and a one here. There's a little dot there to indicate what I'm looking at. So we have zero. We have a zero here and a zero here. So that gives us a zero. We have a one here and a one here. So that gives us a one. And a one here and a zero here. So that gives us a zero. Okay, so that's the left hand side done and the right hand side done. What we have to do at the end is just sort of uh, point out that this column here and this column here are identical to one another. So that means that the, the left hand side is identical to the right hand side, which is to say that they're equivalent. And that ends the presentation.